Hello students, welcome to our online study YouTube channel. So now in this video, we are going to discuss the derivation of BT equation. The Langmuir theory of adsorption is restricted to the formation of monomolecular layer of the gas molecules on the solid surface and disregards the possibility that multi-layer adsorption may also take place. But in 1938, Brunner, Emmett and Taylor proposed a model known as the BT isotherm for multi-layer adsorption. There are some assumptions. The first assumption is the solid surface possesses uniform localized sites and that adsorption at one side does not affect adsorption at neighboring sites, as was assumed in Langmuir theory. It is further assumed that molecules can be adsorbed in second, third, fourth, and nth layers. The surface area available for the nth layer being equal to the coverage of the n minus one layer. The third assumption is the energy of adsorption in the first layer is assumed to be constant and the energy of adsorption in succeeding layers is assumed to be the same as energy of liquefaction of the gas. Okay, these are the some assumptions of Brunner, uh, Emmett and Teller. So, uh, on the basis of these assumptions, we are going to discuss the derivation. Uh, in the previous part, I already told you, explain you assumptions of BT isotherm. If you want to learn assumptions, you can check out the description box. I have given there the link. So, according to them, the first step in adsorption is uh, A. A is a gaseous molecule and as for surface uh, after adsorption the as is formed and the k1 is equilibrium constant and for it equals to theta1 by theta v p where a is the gaseous adsorbate s is the vacant site on the surface as is occupied site on this surface k1 is equilibrium constant Theta 1 is the fraction of the surface sites covered by single molecules. And theta V is the fraction of vacant site. Okay. And the P is the pressure of the gas. Consider this is the, this is the vacant surface. Okay. It is denoted as S. And this is the first layer. On first layer A molecule is adsorbed. Okay. This A molecule is adsorbed. This is the first step here it forms as okay and for this as the equilibrium constant k1 is equals to theta 1 upon theta v into p this is the second step in this step the a molecule is adsorbed on as layer okay first layer so here it forms a to s like this okay so for this the k2 is equals to theta2 upon theta1p why we take uh, theta2 by theta1p uh, it already explained in langmuir theory so uh, if you want details about this equation so you have to check out langmuir theory adsorptions video okay next third step is a plus a2s third layer is formed on the A2S so here this third layer is formed as a A3S and and so on okay and then uh, so overall we can write it as A plus A N minus 1 S so it forms A N S for this uh, equilibrium constant K N is equals to theta N upon theta N minus 1 P okay all these processes except the first except the first can be regarded as being essentially equal to uh, equivalent to liquefaction 
uh, hence they should have the same equilibrium constant therefore we can write it as k2 is equals to k3 is equals to k4 dash dash k n and overall it is k capital k the first molecule uh, the theta uh, the first interaction interaction between the first a and the surface side is unique okay and depending on the nature of particular a molecule and the surface um, particular a molecule and the surface however when the second a molecule is uh, sits on the first a molecule then the interaction cannot be very different from the interaction of two a molecules in the liquid means here the liquefaction is happens okay therefore we can say that the first except one the second third fourth and fifth uh, all the interactions are equals to be equivalent to uh, liquefaction okay therefore we here uh, write it as the all all the equilibrium constants are same or is equals to k where k is the equilibrium constant for the reaction a gaseous to a liquid okay because we assume that uh, except first layer uh, all other molecules are convert uh, liquefaction is there okay so here we can write it as a gaseous to a liquid because their interactions to a molecules interaction is like a liquid where k is equals to 1 upon p0 now what is p0 p0 is the equilibrium vapor pressure of the liquid we can use the equilibrium condition to calculate the values of various theta we have theta is equals theta 2 is equals to theta 1 kp theta 3 is equals to theta 2 kp and so on so uh, here we can write it as theta 3 is equals to theta 1 kp square how so here theta 2 i put the value of theta 2 into the equation of theta 3 and we get this equation theta 1 into kp square okay repeating the operation we find that theta i is equals to theta 1 into kp bracket raised to i minus 1 this is very important equation the sum of all these fractions must be equal to unity why unity because the uh, all the interactions is occurs on the same surface so here we take it as unity 1 is equals to theta v plus summation of i is equals to 1 theta i uh, the, from equation 1 what is equation 1 uh, theta 1 theta 1 is equals to k1 theta v into p from this equation we can get here theta v plus summation of i theta 1 into kp bracket raised to i minus 1 where we have used equation 5 for theta i and let kp is equals to x x then equation 6 becomes to 1 is equals to theta v as it is and then plus theta 1 here theta 1 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube okay assuming that the process can go on infinite infinitely then n becomes to infinity and this series is simply the expansion of 1 upon 1 minus x is equals to 1 plus x plus x square plus and so on. okay now this equation becomes to this we get 1 is equals to theta v plus theta 1 upon 1 minus x using the equilibrium condition for the first adsorption we find that theta v is equals to theta 1 upon theta 1 uh, k1 p and here uh, we'll take us one constant here c and c is equals to k1 upon k so here our equation becomes theta v is equals to 
theta 1 upon cx and equation 7 becomes all putting these values then after we get the equation 1 is equals to theta 1 upon cx theta 1 upon cx theta v value uh, put here then theta 1 upon cx plus theta 1 upon 1 minus x solving this equation 1 is equals to theta 1 just taking a common uh, theta 1 1 upon cx plus 1 upon 1 minus x or theta 1 is equals to cx into 1 minus x upon 1 plus c minus 1 into x okay now uh, let n be the total number of molecules adsorbed per unit mass of adsorb adsorbent and cs is the total number of surface sides per unit mass and then uh, cs theta 1 is the number of sides carrying one molecule cs theta 2 is the number of sides carrying two molecules and so on so we can write it as uh, n is equals to cs 1 theta 1 plus 2 theta 2 why we write it as 1 2 and 3 4 and so on because the number of molecules one molecule is carried over, over the uh, first um, side so one molecule one side one theta 1 two molecules sits on second um, side so 2 theta 2 and so on i theta i so we can write it as is equals to n is equals to cs summation of i theta i from equation 5 and x is equals to kp we have theta i is equals to theta 1 x raised to i minus 1 equation 5 from equation 5 and keeping x is equals to kp so we get theta i is equals to theta 1 x raised to 1 minus sorry i minus 1 so that n is equals to cs theta 1 summation of i x raised to i minus 1 uh, so cs is uh, sorry n is equals to cs theta 1 by solving this summation 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus and so on 4x cube so continuously it is continuous process this series is the derivative of the earlier one thus 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus and so on is equals to d by dx 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube and so on so we can write it as d by dx into 1 upon 1 minus x or by solving this derivation 1 upon x square sorry 1 minus x square using this result the expression for n becomes to n is equals to cs theta 1 upon 1 minus x bracket square if the entire surface is covered with monolayer then nm molecules will be adsorbed so that n mono or nm is equals to cs in the previous page we studied that cs is also what cs is the uh, number of sites occupied by the molecules so uh, if uh, one molecule is occupied by the side the one side is occupied the one molecule then it is it becomes monolayer na? so here nm is equals to cs so we can write it as nm is equals sorry n is equals to nm theta 1 upon 1 minus x square bracket square substituting the value of theta 1 from equation 8 so we have n is equals to nm cx upon 1 minus x into 1 my 1 plus c minus 1 bracket into x the amount adsorbed The amount adsorbed is usually reported as the volume of the gas adsorbed measured at STP. So we can write it as the volume is proportional to N so that we have N upon N M 
is equals to v upon v modular okay so we can write it as v total is equals to v m c x upon 1 minus x into 1 plus into bracket c 1 minus 1 into x so we can write it as v total is equals to v is equals to in terms of pressure because we here discuss about the volume v is equals to vm into cp upon p0 minus p in bracket 1 plus c minus 1 into p upon p0 bracket close okay the volume v total is measured as the function of pressure so from this data we can obtain the value of v mono and c note that when p is equals to p0 the equation has a singularity and the v is tends to infinity this accounts for the steep rise in the isotherm as the pressure approaches p0 like it shown in a graph this steep is obtained when p is tends to p0 to obtain the constant c and vm we multiply both the sides of equation 19 by p0 minus p upon p so we we get the equation v into p0 minus p upon p is equals to vm by c upon 1 plus c minus 1 into p upon p0 and taking the reciprocal of the both sides we get the equation BET equation this is the very important BET equation P upon V into P0 minus P is equals to 1 upon Vm into C plus C minus 1 upon Vmc into P upon P0 this is the well known BET equation and this equation is very important actually the derivation is not asked you in examinations but we have to know how to derive this equation so if you like this video give thumbs up and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you have any doubt so you can comment in the comment box and thank you so much for watching this video in the next part we will discuss the types of adsorption isotherm okay thank you so much for watching this video